Now in its 32nd year, the Children's Theater Festival has used the arts to inspire generations of children. It opened this morning and will run through Sunday, and Rick Dayton was downtown to share the experience with the children. The biggest line, Roy. One, two, three. Where else can you roar like a lion? Dressed up like a zebra. There's all kinds of free things to do and to explore, and it's so memorable. And you know, that's what makes, that's what makes life, are all of these memories and all of this positive time together. The streets around the Benetton Center have been transformed into outdoor stages for the 32nd Children's Theater Festival. For the fifth year, EQT is title sponsor. It's so exciting to see kids and families coming downtown to experience things within the theaters and then the streets are brought to life too with all these hands-on things that kids can do. Most of these things outside on the street are all free. The price of the shows inside the Cultural District Theaters, all $12 or less, and they are specifically geared toward kids. And so is the Zydeco music. The musician on the left playing the rub board, very little talent. Well, the guy on the right is a two-time Grammy Award winner named Terrence Simeon. He never misses an opportunity to teach about music in his home of southwest Louisiana. Every family has an instrument. Every family has more than one musician down home, you know. And music plays a huge part for us growing up as kids and coming into our own as adults. And the focus is all about the kids, from Lego building stations to indoor and outdoor shows. It provides a unique experience through theater. We believe in you have to work hard and be proactive, but then you need to sharpen the saw. So today's a little bit about sharpening the saw. End of the year, a lot of testing going on, and you can see how much fun they're having. Learning to love life and love music and theater and the arts at the Children's Theater Festival. Rick Dayton, KDKA TV News.